This is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we are going to take a project that is completely registered. Color has been added and we are going to take uh, some of the scans and remove different items from them. Uh, things that you might run into with uh, someone walking in your scan or if you want to get rid of uh, targets that are in the scans. We're going to run through a quick sample of that and show everybody how we can get that done pretty quickly. So we'll jump right into the Explore button here. And as you can see, there are no uh, loaded scans. Always a good idea to lock our scan uh, cluster here. First thing we want to do is just go ahead and double click on one of our scans, open it up. As we can see, we've got some sphere targets on tripods. And we've got some survey equipment out here. And we can start with some of the survey equipment. A lot of times you've got a project where you needed targets, you needed survey equipment. Uh, then afterwards, maybe you want to do a fly through of the project and you want to clean it up and uh, make it look a little bit uh, more natural for your fly throughs. And uh, you can go ahead and create another project to duplicate the one you have and then uh, remove a bunch of this stuff uh, and then go ahead with your, your fly through. So pretty easy uh, thing to do here. We're going to go into the polygon selector and grab a rectangle and just go ahead and rectangle in the uh, target here. We're going to take a 3D view of it. There we go. And as we rotate around, we can see different ways that we can grab a hold of this without deleting any of the background. Uh, that's the main thing that we're concerned with here. Uh, if we go in and go to our polygon selector and we start polygoning in the, uh, the actual tripod here, with that behind it, we're going to take everything behind it that was in that polygon selection out. So if there's any data behind it that you wanted to keep, you cannot do that. So uh, just simply put a center dot on whatever it is that you are trying to delete. Rotate it to a position where you can uh, get as close as you can to the ground and nothing will be behind it. Uh, grab your polygon and just simply outline it right click and then delete the inside selection. You get into a hurry, sometimes you'll delete the outside section. Uh, go ahead and shut it down at that point. Don't save it and start over again. So uh, we're going to do an inside selection delete. As you can see, it's gone. Makes that section look very, very clean. If we wanted to, we could come over here to this road and we could do the same thing to, uh, to the traffic and just quickly grab it. Right click, delete inside of the selection here. Very, very nice looking data at this point. Now at this point, I generally will go ahead and save the changes. Um, if you've done any of this type of thing at all, you can get into a hurry start running through different scans, deleting things. And the next thing you know, you've been working for half an hour, you've deleted 30 or 40 different things, and then you misfire and delete the outside of the data instead of the inside of your polygon, and you end up having to shut it down, not save it, and start all over again. So uh, whether you save it on every single thing that you delete or every two or three, that's up to you, but I do suggest that you save it. And we've got several other targets here that we can go ahead and do the same thing. We'll run through it. Rectangular selector. Grab two. Right click. View. 3D view. Again, if we need to reset our center, we can do that. Get ourselves to the point where we can get nice and close to the ground. Select our polygon, 
in this situation very easy to run straight across double click close it in right click inside selection delete now as we go through we're going to have to do every single scan in order to clean everything up uh, if that set of sphere target tripods was in the last one uh, they're obviously in this one as well they were not moved between the two shots those then would have to be deleted in every single scan once again uh, we do preach to not add color unless you absolutely have to or do it at the very end this is a good example again as why because it's very very hard to see we can reset this background color um, but for what we're doing here it's just very simple to go through and avoid the ground we don't see any data behind it double click and they should be gone so uh, in general when you're cleaning up a project uh, that's your basic workflow um, if you're even going to remove a column or, you know, it's uh, cars going through your scan or somebody that's standing in your scan, uh, it's all very simple. Just remember, you can't go into a single scan and make it completely go away. If that was captured by different scan locations, it's going to still be there because it was uh, seen from a different scan location. So once you run through all of them, Again, make sure that you save it, uh, but that's how you would remove uh, unwanted data. Thanks and good luck with your projects. Let us know if there's anything specific we can make a video for to help you all out.